and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today we have M.A. LeBron and Lynn Goldsmith. They are the new staff at the Peach Street Center. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, M.A., tell us what is your position? Uh, my position is the, I'm the new volunteer coordinator here at the Beach Street Center. So I both recruit new volunteers. We're always looking for volunteers here. And I help to manage those who are already here. Thank you. And can you tell us who's in May? Who's in May? Well, I'm a local gal. I grew up in Newton and I live right next door in Lexington with my family. Um, I have worked with volunteers uh, throughout my entire career, which has mostly been in the fundraising and development and alumni affairs. Um, so I'm very excited to uh, bring those years of experience here to the Beach Street Center. Uh, I started in uh, November or so, so I am still kind of coming up to speed, but very much uh, enjoying meeting people and uh, uh, constantly recruiting as I meet people here at the center. And how has been the welcoming at the center and what are you looking forward to? Uh, it has been a very warm welcome. I'm just delighted to be here. It is just so fun to see. It's it's very quick. Um, you get to know people and they start to come in regularly and it's un suddenly you're old friends, even though I've only been here for a few months. So I really enjoy that aspect of the work. And as we're recruiting uh, new volunteers and as more people are becoming members, I'm always looking for uh, folks to, to join in, whether they're volunteering as drivers, whether they're volunteering at our front desk, or whether we're just um, having a casual visitor become a member. All of those things are um, what I'm really enjoying and looking forward to really building up a nice core of volunteers and always recruiting new members as well. And what are the needs right now? What, in, in somebody wants to volunteer, they look for MA and what else? Maribel, I'm so glad you asked. Well, as you know, um, we're always looking for volunteer drivers. Um, and that is a wonderful program where if you are uh, someone with a pretty flexible schedule or if you're working from home, this has been really popular with some uh, stay at home parents who um, have some time in the afternoon. We're always looking for drivers to take folks to non-medical appointments. We'll take care of those medical appointments here through the center, our wonderful transportation services. Um, but sometimes people wanna do social visit visits or visits outside the realm of uh, what our transportation department will do. So we're always looking for folks to do that. And that's wonderful because you can just kind of sign up ad hoc as you have an hour or two here or there. Uh, it would be really helpful and a great way to build community um, here in Belmont. We're also always looking for folks to help at our front desk. Our front desk, at, for those of you who have been to the Beach Tree Center, you well know it's where we check in. Um, it's a great place to sign up for programs, ask questions, get your key to the fitness room, Room. We're always looking for friendly faces uh, who have some time either in the morning or the afternoon to stop by. We're also looking for other things. If you if you are a, a natural teacher and you'd love to lead a watercolor class, or if you're someone who has a particular interest in chess, um, come on in and let us know. Um, flag me down or you know, look for me at the front desk. Um, I'm happy to come and chat and find ways that we can really incorporate um, the expertise that's already here in the community and bring it right to the Beach Street Center. That's great. Thank you, Emma. Welcome to Belmont and, and looking forward to work with you as well. Yes, absolutely. And that we all keep building our community. Wonderful. Thanks, Marva. Now we have Lynn Goldsmith and you are? I'm a social worker here at the Beach Street Center. Can you Thank tell you. us who's Lynn? Well, let's see. Um, I'm a relatively new social worker, despite my seniority. Um, I went back to school after raising my four kids in Newton. Um, I graduated in 2018. And since then, and including my internships while I was in graduate school, I've pretty much focused on the needs of older adults, both older adults residing in the community, as well as in long-term care settings. So um, my own mother is 93 years old. It's a age group that I feel quite passionate about and really would like to support their continued aging in place in the community. That's right. We are very excited about your position being filled and we welcome you to the Beach Street Center and to our community. And can you tell us what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to enhancing the lives of people who are living at home, um, helping them cope with some of the challenges of growing older and still 
leading a fulfilling life. Um, people's needs and abilities obviously change as they age, and I'm looking forward to supporting those needs as best as possible. That's right. And to get in contact with you, if you need to make an appointment. So I'm here at the center between 10 and 4, Monday through Friday. And you can just give me a call. Um, I don't know if I should get my number here. It's 617-993-2994. Or you can call the front desk um, and just ask to speak with me. Um, I'm available to provide kind of general case management as well as um, support, uh, short-term counseling, uh, any kind of crisis comes up that you just need a friendly ear, voice, a little bit of guidance, I'm available for that, um, as well as to help with more practical matters. If you're feeling kind of stressed, maybe there's some financial considerations or changes in your health status, I should be able to help you, um, you know, provide referrals and help you meet those needs. In addition, I'm trying to really increase the opportunities for socialization and support among older adults in the community. And in that vein, I am starting a few groups that I think are of potential interest. On Mondays, I offer the Good News group at 1030 in the morning. That group is an effort to focus on the positive news. It's kind of difficult to find that news, but it gets me looking and the group members looking for those stories. And then we can share those stories, relate them to our own lives and in general, just focus on the positive rather than all the stresses in our lives. On Tuesdays, I'm offering a group. It's a little bit like a support group, but it's really just open to everybody. It's called the Not So Golden Years. And that's to offer some support around the challenges of growing older, our changing roles, our changing identities, um, our changing abilities, and it's certainly not a unique experience, so it's helpful to, um, to share our experiences with each other. On Wednesdays, I'm offering uh, a caregiver support group. That's been a little bit slow to take off, but I'm hoping to provide um, support to people who are caring for people with both physical and maybe cognitive um, challenges. And the final group, which has been our, my most successful group so far, is on Thursdays, and that is a reminiscence group called Down Memory Lane, where we get together and talk about our memories and how things have changed and where we are right now. And one final note is what I'm hoping to begin offering maybe in a couple months is a memory cafe, which is targeted particularly to the dementia community. And it's... Um, oriented towards people with dementia and their caregivers. It's an opportunity for everybody to socialize, to learn about new resources and just overall support and, and fun. <laughs> um, That's right. Thank you, Lynn. I, I really appreciate the work of both of you, Emma and Lynn, for our community and especially for the seniors in our town. I appreciate it. Is there anything else you would like to add? Oh, well, I just like to encourage people to come on and take advantage of our services. There's so many things that are going on at the center. I think this is a fabulous place and underutilized. So just uh, tell your friends and neighbors that we're here. Yeah, we have pickleball it's, and it's taken off. It's a lot of fun. So come on by, come and say hi. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. That was it for today. I'm your host. Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time.